And with temperatures in the teens, some parents want to know how cold is too cold for school. Yeah, when deciding when to delay or cancel class, most East Tennessee school districts say there's no magic temperature they look for. Instead, they consider all kinds of factors. Wind chill, chance for rain or snow, cloud coverage. Sweetwater, Oneida, Alcoa, and Hamlin County schools all told us they look out for temperatures in the teens or single digits. And while students will mainly be kept indoors while at school, waiting for the bus on mornings like this can cause concern. If you're covered up, your body's probably going to do okay. But if these areas are exposed, then it only takes a few minutes for you to get frostbite. So, Doctors say kids can be especially vulnerable to these freezing temperatures. So if your child will be outside this morning, here is what they recommend. The best thing you can do is, of course, bundle them up. A Summit medical nurse says the most important spots to cover, the ears, fingers, nose, and toes. Try to leave no skin exposed, and if you can, opt for fewer, thicker layers of clothing. One heavy-duty winter coat will do more to insulate your child than several smaller layers. Many districts also have plans to keep kids warm while they're at school. Outdoor activities like recess will be canceled at many schools in East Tennessee today because of the cold.